In this video, we are doing a review of these. The on-running Cloud Monsters. What is up everybody and welcome to Broxbourne Sports Club. We are here to do a session today and Al is here with his on-running cloud monsters. Now you're going to have to excuse Alan because he's post-marathon. He did Brighton last weekend but between doing Brighton and all that sort of stuff he's been smashing the life out of the cloud monsters. So I wanted to get his take on the show. Find out what it's all about, give you some information on it, see if they are any good. Um, yeah, so let's get stuck in. Okay, so Al, firstly, how are you feeling after marathon? Pretty good, actually. Um, Brighton was first of two spring marathons I've got. I've got Copenhagen, um, middle of May. Mm. So Brighton was a, a tricky one to gauge, really, in terms of how to go for it. Um, so, 408. Take a that. training run. Take that. Happy with that. Take that. I think I'm set up now for Copenhagen. So let us know in the comments if you're running Copenhagen and look out for Al, long run show co host. Yeah, uh, make sure you say hello to Al if you are running Copenhagen, but you're here to find out about these. So uh, let's, do, let's do stats and features. So, what I know, and I'll put something up on the screen about the shoe because um, I never remember any of it. 130 quid on some websites, but 150 quid on the on-running uh, website. Six mil drop. We've got Helion foam around, uh, go that way now. Yeah. We've got Helion foam. We've got Cloud Tech, which is their, obviously, their painted um, cloud technology. Is it ga got a gas at your tongue on it? Let's have a look. Uh, what about, and uh, while you're finding that out, Al, talk about size. Do they fit true to size? Um, so I've gone up, I normally get a 12 and a half, mm. um, these come up a little bit big, I did wonder come whether I could actually get into a 12, okay. so I haven't tried a 12. Alright, so that's worth nine, yeah. uh, they do come up big, do you check in the gusset for us, yeah. in terms of fit, what are they like actually in, in terms of midfoot lockdown, why are we looking at that? They, 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 they lock in well, yeah. you can do the old runner's knot, um, plenty of room in the toe box, so, um. I mean, height in the toe box. They look quite high, look. Yeah, look, look, look. That's kind of why I might have next time go down a size. Look, they're quite, there's quite a lot of room in there by the looks of things. Um, anything else in terms of stats and features on the shoe, Al? I think we've done drop, we've done... Oh, how much do you... I don't know whether you know. Any idea on the weight? That, are they heavy? Do they feel heavy? So that's the thing. No, they don't. They don't um, feel heavy. I've been running for my cushion shoes in Hoka's. Yeah. Uh, a variety. And these don't feel like you are carrying bricks, which sometimes okay. you can. That's you good. wonder about... Is the cushioning worth it? Mm. This doesn't. And I, um, at Brighton Marathon, I spoke to one of the on reps that mm. was uh, pushing it. And I said to her, they don't feel like on shoes. And she said, that's just what we want. Yeah, no, <laughs> and that, that's a good point. We'll come on to that in a sec, actually, about the on running shoes. So, in terms of weight, we don't have specifics for our, because obviously. Because these are 12 and a half. 12 and a half, so we're out in the middle of uh, about to do a coaching session. Um, but in terms of lightness, they don't feel heavy. I think that's the key for that. Right, let's find out how you've been getting on with them and where you've been using them. Okay, so Al, where, so, well, hang on, actually, firstly, this is, would you say, a max cushion daily trainer? I would say, I would say, it's, uh, as far as on the concerned, it is their most cushioned shoe. Max cushion, so yeah. So you'd probably stick it in the max cushion. Yeah. As I said, um, I've come across it because I like ones, because I'm just, I like their style. Yeah. Um, but I know people have had issues with the firm ride. Yeah, oh, it really? I want it just on, on shoes in general. Yeah, yeah they um, are firm. But this, for me, kind of just feels like a nice balance. Okay. Is that you still get a firm ride. Yeah. So you don't get that plush cushioning, which I don't always look for. Yeah. But you do get enough cushioning that they just feel like you could go for hours in them. Okay. So they have become and will stick my kind of go-to cushion daily trainer, I think. As somebody who has been in stability shoes or needs a mild stability shoe. Yeah. How have they been working for you in that sense? So in that sense, I have felt, um, and I don't know if it's the weight 
of the the, the plugs, but mm. actually it's helped me. It just feels like a nice stable foot. Stable, position. yeah, that's yeah. the word I was looking for. Stable. On the forefront, yeah. where I've I've kind of started to supinate. Yeah. Um, through my running ch style, mm. this just feels like a nice solid base. Oh, so, yeah, they're quite wide, aren't they? Yeah. They do look. If you look at them, look. Put, well, I mean, they're big compared to the Reebok. Like I've got a pair of Reeboks on, but you can see the width across there. Al, I know you're twelve and a half, so they will. They naturally will. And look I have bigger. got a wide foot. Yeah, you have got and a wide foot. Just feel, and I, I don't know if it's because of that fit being slightly big. It just feels like a nice I'm solid base. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, so you're using it as a daily trainer. Is there anything for the viewers that you can sort of compare it to that's out there at the moment? I, my person, I straight away I thought of this. You've not, he can't get his hands on them, but the Sketches Max Row Five. Uh, I'm thinking Fresh Foam More. I'm thinking potentially um, Clifton Eight. That sort of is where I'm going. Yeah. Is that probably a fair? Yeah, I've, I've been using um, Mac Fours as my go-to. Yes, up. yeah, you uh, have. Haven't you? These feel a little bit heavier. But they feel more cushioned. Yeah, they are. They are. They're Absolutely. much more much cushioned. And you're because you're Al's a big Hoka fan. He's been running in. You've got the Bondi X. Yeah. You've got to say you've got the Max Four. Mac Four. You did your marathon in the Adios Pro too, didn't you? Yeah. So complete swap out. Yeah, complete swap out in terms of, of branding, but also feel. Um, would you? All right. Okay. Last question before we get onto it, because Ben, if you've not seen uh, the podcast we did with Ben, is running. Check that out. Uh, you can check that on Spotify and Apple. But uh, Ben in that podcast was saying that he's used these on track days because yeah. he, he feels they're good, you know, fast enough to use. For so, those so it's all relative. So far, I've done a couple of five k's. Uh, I've done two seven milers. Um, done some sprint work with them, but mm. it was after Brighton Marathon, yeah. so it's probably not a fair comparison. <laughs> yeah, for sprint yeah. Work. your sprint work is probably. I won't worry too much about your sprint work after, <laughs> but still, it's still relevant. But they, it? they did feel like they could pick up the pace. So yeah, that's I, what I wanted. Yeah. Tuesday tempo six mile. Yeah, kind of smashed it. Really, you know, Easy. to the point. Well, I've got a mile that is virtually all uphill. No, it is all uphill. Yeah, um, and these kept pace with my carbon shoes that I tried on up that mile so they were there or thereabouts on that hilly mile okay. in terms of speed so for me which yeah. isn't particularly fast no, they, they kind of they did, they did the job okay last question would you recommend are there 150 quid a lot of money yeah. right for example not comparable but these are 130 quid you can get them for under 100 quid it's not comparable at all because this is a, got a car on plenty but the, my point is, is there's value shoes out there yeah. 150 quid is a lot of money. Is it worth it? I think the test will come in terms of their durability. Yeah. So the sole yeah, looks yeah. like it's uh, it's going to wear well compared to others. And I know in previous shoes, yeah, people here. have had problems with the 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 grip around the ankle yeah. wearing. So that will be a test for me in terms of after 100, 150 miles, do they still look and feel? That's a good point because Al, you've got to remember, is a handsome runner, so he does big miles. You know, for an everyday runner, like, well, yeah, yeah, he's, he's doing, he's doing peak 50, training. yeah, peak training, he's doing 50, 60 miles a week, so he's knocking it out, but it's more the consistency of your running, it's not necessarily, I would say, the volume, it's how much time on feet you're doing, yeah. so you need shoes that are hard-wearing, durable, but also are kind to you, yeah. and can do the work, so, so that'll be the test yeah, that'll be the time, yeah, alright, so I'll tell you what we'll do, and it, let us know in the comments, do you want to see, what point do you want to see Al come back on the channel and talk about him? 200 miles, 300 miles, at what point uh, do you, or even 100 miles? Let us know in the comments and we'll get Al back on the channel and we'll talk about the Club But you would recommend them now. Oh, I'm a bit of a fanboy. Yeah, he's a bit of a fanboy. But I would go with caution because I think we do need to see with on running shoes what their durability is actually like. So that'll be the key because I know there's a lot of videos out there at the moment on the shoe. But I've not yet seen anybody who's put like 100 miles for them. And that, miles yet, yeah, and that's always the question mark over on running shoes is the durability. So let's come back. Let us know in the comments and we'll come back at that point. Right, so that's, uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you very much, Alan, as always, coming on the channel. It's a pleasure. As I've always said, if, you wanna, if you've got a brand new pair of shoes that you just unboxed and you want to review on the channel, more than happy to get you on. So get in touch. Just go over to the 40 Rounds webpage um, and go through the Contact Me page. We'd love to have you on reviewing shoes. So if you've just you know, gone, you've got yourself a pair of Adios Pro 2s or whatever and you want to do a video about it, we'd love to have you. 
On the channel, right, Al, we better get ready for this session, I suppose. Yeah, we better get ready for this session. Alright, we, or we could just sit here. It's quite a nice view, isn't Yeah, it? we could just sit here and get some I'm coffee. Sure coach him from here. Yeah, yeah, coach him. Right, we say see you later. Say bye. Cheers, see you later, guys. Catch you later.